Abby Foxes, the Divine Fox. Yang. Hello, everyone. Mm, nice to meet you if you're here for the first time. I'm Ivina Divine Fox, and I stream on Twitch, YouTube, and <gasps> Billy Billy. Yes, I'm on Billy Billy. And do you know who's also on Billy Billy? A lot of your favorite VTubers from various companies. Oh, and there's so many more VTubers to discover on Billy Billy. But what if you always wanted to interact with VTubers or other content creators on Billy Billy? You found me. Hey, it's actually pretty hard to make an account there. And you'll also find that the website is completely in Chinese. Simplified Chinese to be exact. And the global version of the app has absolutely nothing to do with the mainland China version of Billy Billy that your favorite VTubers are streaming on, including myself. So, how do you make a Billy Billy account? Well, I was in your views too, like um, six months ago. I was wondering, how do you make an account on Billy Billy? And I looked and I searched and I searched and I looked and I searched and I'm like, man, they don't talk on you. Will be very emotional. I don't understand. Ah, it was so stressful because. You know what? A lot of the guides for Billy Billy account making are pretty outdated. The most recent one I found was from 2022, and it was like the middle of 2022. And there have been a couple of changes since then. So I thought, okay, why don't I help you out and me out by making and helping more people join Billy Billy so more people can enjoy my content. <laughs> I mean, you know, your other favorite YouTuber content. <laughs> All right, let's, let's let's get into it, okay? I'm gonna take you to my special room where you'll learn all about Billy Billy account making. Ow! So, you are at the Billy Billy account making process. First thing you have to do, of course, is go to www.billybilly.com. Make sure it is this exact site, and you should see completely everything in Chinese. If you're seeing a different website entirely, that means you're on the English version of Billy Billy. And that's not what you want. You want this exact website, which should be completely in Chinese. And to get English, you have to use an interface by right clicking on the page itself, scrolling down into that, that task, that bar that you see, and you'll see that right, translate to English. And that's how you get English. If you're using Google Chrome, then the English translation button should be at the top of your screen. Now, the first thing you'll see when you get to billybilly.com is this welcome page. Translated into English, you will see a button. Right at the top here, it says login. Okay? On, on the far right, you see something that says pink and it says post. Ignore that. You need to go to the button at the first button you see after the search bar. It says login. Then you will see log in immediately and push that button right there. Okay? Now, it's easier to make your account on the website than to make your account on the actual phone app. The phone app is a nightmare. And you actually have to have the Chinese logo, not the global version, the Chinese version of the app to do it. And it's, it's, it's not easy. This is the easiest, simplest way to make an account. Okay? So, once you do that, you switch to SMS login and click the drop down list to scroll down and choose your area code. Right here. See? The next screen you will see is right here. So scan the QR code to log in. You that's something you can do later, okay? <laughs> that's something you can do later. Right, you have to make your account first, so ignore the scan QR code stuff. Right up here you will see oops, sorry. <laughs> go back. Right up here you will see SMS login. You need to scroll all through here until you find your country code. And then click on your country code and type in your phone number. Simple, right? Not quite. Now, if you're like me and you live in certain parts of Asia, your phone number will start with a zero. Okay? Now, if your phone number starts with a zero, then you do not enter that zero into the bar here. If your number was zero, Five zero blah blah blah. You would the first sentence you would type in here is five zero. Ignore the first zero inside 
if you add that zero to the phone number here, you will not get the SMS message. It'll sit there waiting for ages and get nothing. So, don't have it. If you do not have a zero, then you don't have to worry about this. Message. So, once you do that, you will <coughs> get the verification code. This is to make sure you are not a robot. Okay, and they will give you a CAPTCHA. Now, this is specific to China CAPTCHA. Okay, if you're lucky, you'll get the one with the sliding rule. But mm, you usually you're gonna get the you have to read Chinese one. So look really carefully and click on the Chinese characters in the order that you see them. So just wait closely. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. And you click confirm. If you do them in incorrect order, you just have to start all over again. Okay. Mm, if, if you think it's too hard, just refresh and it might give you an easy one. One with perhaps only two tiny characters and not four. But <laughs> I wish you luck on that one. <laughs> After that, you receive a message as follows. Enter the verification code into the register window. Register if you're really up out successfully. Okay? These codes will be in your phone like that. You will get a phone number. I mean, you will get a message to your phone. <laughs> Silly. And you put these numbers into the box that appears right here. Okay? You only have 60 seconds to do so. If you do not enter in that last time, you have to refresh and start the entire process again. Now, if you entered your phone number the first time and you didn't get an SMS message, try again. Your number might be wrong or just sometimes the system misses it and you have to do it again. Mm, again, very frustrating, but don't give up. Keep trying until you get that SMS message. Sometimes it takes two or three times for you to get that SMS message. Down very, very. So, worry not. <laughs> Once you got it, you put that in there and you can move on to the next screen. So, this is the screen you should see if you were successful in getting your phone number and your code. Move the cursor to the portrait that looks like the Billy Billy symbol right here. You will see your login. This is your login ID for now. <laughs> for now, you have a chance to change that later. But move your account code to the portrait and choose personal center. Like that. And then you choose account. And then you'll see this button here contribution management. On the next page, you'll see it looks just like this. My account looks just like this too. <laughs> when you see that, then you hit account like this. Okay? Then you click the find email and you get the verification code and then input the source code just like your phone number one more time click this button here find email okay put in your email address here and in your phone number again i know you have to enter your phone number again you, you, you're gonna have to do it a lot so get used to it <laughs> into the phone number again and not afraid to be able to enter your email successfully once you do that you can put your email address. I recommend you use Gmail. Then you receive an email from verifypostmaster.com and you do a copy of the verification code and then go back to the verification window and paste that code directly into here. And you click the next step. And there you go. Your account has been successfully binded. Yay! <laughs> but are not quite done. Okay. <laughs> you want to set your password too? If you can, set an actual password, so that's going to make logging in, again, much easier. And if you have Google Chrome or any kind of browser browser thing, you can save your account page so you don't have to log in with your phone number all the time. That is annoying. I rarely have to do my phone number, put my phone number in because I don't log out of Billy Billy. Which is why I'm using a website to show you how, how to do all this. This is much, much simpler than logging out of Billy Billy. Don't log out of Billy Billy. <laughs> if you can help it. Now, when you go back to your account, go back to the screen here, and then when you scroll down, you, you should see all of this, but you, you might also see another set of numbers, set of codes there. And it's the area you need to go to to do the questionnaire to verify one that you're human and two that you're sound mind. <laughs> now, because I've already completed this questionnaire and I search heaven and high water to find this questionnaire i'm unfortunately unable to provide this questionnaire for you but i can tell you 
that it's pretty easy. It does take a long time. Not everyone has to do the questionnaire in order to start commenting. But I'd say 70% um, of people who make a daily account have to do that questionnaire before they're allowed to actually comment on any post. Yeah, it's unfortunate. They can still follow people and like them, like their stuff, and you can still chat in their live streams. You just can't comment on anything until you do that questionnaire. It'll tell you, it'll give you a warning. Once you try to comment on something, it says you're not verified. Okay. Now, once you verify your true identity with that questionnaire and you verify that you're a human of sound mind, then you should be able to comment on people's posts as normal. Hmm, now if you want to take it a step further, say you also like to play video games you really really or you'd like to start doing that, then this website that I'm going to here explains how to make your account verified, but you have to send a lot of information like your real name, um, government issued ID, it's, it's a hassle, but I'll put all this information in the down below, as well as the link to the website that I'm using to show you all this, okay? But that's an extra thing only if you're interested in playing Chinese games. But if all you're interested in is interacting with your favorite VTubers, then you are set! Yay! Ivy Fox, the Divine Fox. Oh, and we're back! <laughs> if you found this video helpful and you would like to learn more about being on Zilla Billy, how to be a streamer on Zilla Billy, or Anything about Billy Billy, you can just ask me in the comment section below. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and you will see me again. I promise you. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you're able to make your account successfully. If you have any trouble, especially finding a questionnaire so you can comment, please ask me down below, and I'll be very, very happy to help you and guide you in any way that I can. The more people who can be on Billy Billy, the absolute best of the best, the world will be. If you can join me and all of my friends on Billy Billy Tea. <laughs> I've been your Divine Fox and I'll see you next time. Bye bye! Um.